less than a year ago was the first time I used HubSpot. And here I am, not only a solutions partner, but speaking technically at Ingmap. And if that doesn't speak to the power of the ecosystem, to me, I'm not quite sure what does. Um, but before uh, my career, I was spent in investment banking, operations, marketing, uh, and in uh, a variety of senior roles, uh, I have responsibility for Salesforce and some industry-specific solutions, doing a lot of the things HubSpot is doing. Um, and when I started my own business earlier this year, I had three goals. One was to deliver the expertise that I had amassed uh, throughout my career. Second was to productize that expertise so that I wasn't recreating a new solution every time I was being hired. And the last thing was to be able to scale my revenue much faster than my headcount. And so uh, this was springtime and I started seeing a whole lot from that. Uh, Dan and from others at Super, so I reached out to Matt and I said I'd like to speak with you and learn what you're doing. He wrote back, he said he's excited to speak with me next week. I was excited too. And then Blake showed up and sold me Super on the spot. And the interesting thing there is at that point, similar to the Red Odyssey guys, I had not yet taken that leap to go from solutions provider to partner. But during that meeting with Blake, he not only sold me on signing up with Super, but also signing up as a HubSpot partner, because I finally saw that there was the ability to create the business model that I wanted to using HubSpot and Super, which makes me, in my words, a Super first partner. What, what is investment banking? I think a lot of people, when they think of investment banking, think of some of these names, these are, I would call global full service investment banks. There's maybe 10 to 15 of these in the world. And these are not the opportunity for HubSpot, I think for a variety of reasons. However, there are a, literally thousands within the US, and I don't know how to quantify it globally, but they're all applicable to this. Um, I classify them as mid and lower mid-market financial advisors doing sell-side mergers and acquisitions, buy-side mergers and acquisitions, and related services. Really quick, the competitive landscape for CRMs within investment banking so this, I didn't create this, but I fixed it. But this came from one of those industry-specific solutions, Affinity. And what you can see here is, I think for a long time, HubSpot has been in the consideration set for investment banking firms, but usually those deals don't close. And it's because, really, it's like any HubSpot client or any CRM client, investment banks want to grow better. But what that looks like is a little bit different. Just high level, they require highly customized properties, records, and pipelines. They need to be able to uh, manage their live deals, and I'll explain what that means in a second. But if a CRM can't do that, and they can't see the path to doing that very quickly, it's a non-starter. And they also need complete relationship intelligence. And what that means for a lot is they're not only knowing what's going on with their clients, but knowing when they're taking deals to market, who are the investors that are looking at them, how are they uh, behaving on those deals, and that's what I sought to deliver. And so the investment banking revenue model, I'll start, the, the top should look pretty familiar. This is how HubSpot comes configured. This is what the sales pipeline looks like. This is how investment bankers think about the world. So this little piece here, this is the default sales pipeline, but they're always thinking about how are they going to execute because they don't actually earn their fee until they just get hired by the client. They don't earn the fee until they take the deal to market and sell the, the business. It usually takes anywhere from six to 18 months. And so there's a lot of activity that happens during that process and they need to be able to keep track of that. So very simply, I'm sure all of you saw the, the ability to customize HubSpot's pipelines to do just this. So we have that single opportunity pipeline, but then a pipeline specific to each of those deal types that look like the way bankers think about the world. Um, in addition to that, they are able to manage their sell-side processes and those bidders who are involved in their deals. We're doing that with custom objects. And when I set out to do this, the baseline was it has to be as good as Excel. And this is so much better than Excel. And the reason for that is the only way that bankers, especially junior bankers who are doing a lot of this stuff in the middle of the night, they need it to be so easy that there's no friction to them doing their work. And I haven't seen a CRM that could do this as well as HubSpot when configured properly. Because we're using custom objects, you can then look at an investor private equity firm. You can see all the deals that you've shown them, what their behavior is on those deals, and the deal that companies you've sold them. 
our platform shifts with native reporting that speaks the language and you know, provides the KPIs that bankers are interested in, both from a day-to-day -day job and a perspective, as well as for management. We've built a number of workflows that we used to deliver. I'll talk about it in a second, but here's one where we're basically taking HubSpot's built-in enrichment and taking it a step further where we have, in this case, mapped all of HubSpot industries to investment banking, industry groups, sector groups, and then the types of companies that these types of teams will, will segment their world into. So how are we using Super? We're using Super for deployment. So every component of this package is broken into these larger package, smaller components of that package, and upon getting hired within literally a couple of hours, we can deploy 80% of what most of these firms will need and then spend the next few weeks just fine-tuning it and making sure it suits their needs. We're using Super for adoption. You've, you've seen some of these tools, but really embedding the definitions and then, in this case, talking about the workflows that are triggered when a property is updated, no context switching, which is, which is huge. And also using process rules, not necessarily to stop people from doing things, but to guide them to the next step in some of these custom configurations, and it's working really well. One of the things that sets HubSpot apart against some of these industry-specific solutions that are out there is the ability to integrate. And some of the, the tools that we are including on a standard package are some of the logos that you've seen today, as well as some industry-specific data sources that are key to this user group. And so we're at this a couple of months now. We have a number of installs, and we're, we're finally starting to get the, the, the ratings and the feedback that we've you know, built this uh, to, to generate. And we're quickly starting to become a preferred solution to some of these industry-specific tools that have been in development for, for quite a while. The takeaway is HubSpot is ready for the investment banking use case. Um, HubSpot for investment banking, by SoundFront, is based on decades of direct investment banking experience. With Super's help, we can implement and onboard new clients within two to six weeks, not months. And bankers are truly empowered to adopt the platform, and so far they love it. Come on, clap it up for that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Thank you very much. What up, everybody? I want to give a special thank you to the sponsors that made the 50K possible this pitch possible and that is bd emerson and forecastable i say thank you for partnering with us to tell the stories of the hub spot partners of them winning thank you stay awesome keep doing it big everybody